G'day guys, welcome back. Guess what time it is? It's Bloom Day. Yes it is. And uh, I'm going with pink and yellow today. Kind of similar to my last one that ended up being more like a rainbow. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to go with something. I want it to be really um, delicate and fine, like not too... Not too dark. Oh, and I must tell you, I've got a new mold that I'm using. Look, this is my Mystique mold. I'm just making sure that I don't fill it up too much. Leave a little bit of area for the top coat. Yeah, Mystique. Do you like the shape? So we've got the little point and then it goes in and then out and then in and then out and in and out. I thought I'm going to design something that would be perfect for the 3D blooms because you know how we pull the sticks through we go out in out in so this tells you where to pull the stick <laughs> now I can just see some little bubbly boos in there this is the pro marine tabletop resin it's a one-to-one -one. it's pretty thick so it's been sitting for 10 minutes and because it's getting colder now in, in Queensland, in Australia. Um, it's getting down to a chilly 15 degrees Celsius at night. <laughs> so the resin is getting colder when it sits overnight and it's thickening up. So I'm going to leave the resin for 19 minutes today instead of my usual 17 minutes. Okie dokes. Just checking it for more bubbles. I think that's it. I think I've got them all. So yeah, that's um, that's what I'm going to do today. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give it a bit of a torch just to get those. Oh, it's empty. It's empty. Where's my other one? It's on the other side of the table. Gosh. Torch something else while I'm over there. <laughs> They're just nice little ones, nice little torches. You can get these on Amazon. Okay, so that's done. All right, so I'm gonna do my inks before I mix my white, so they've got a chance to move. So I'm using fuchsia and honey. These are alcohol inks by Octopus Fluids. So. Where the point is, I'm going to do a pink. Actually, I'll probably do more pinks. Actually, I'll do pink at each. Don't spit on my new mold. <laughs> pink really stains molds. Pink and yellow, and I'm using pink and yellow. I don't want to use too much color this time, so I'm lid on, out of the way. Don't let me use it again, okay? You guys yell at me if I go to take it again. Not going to. Try not to. <laughs> okay. And then the honey. Just honey, honey. Just in here. Like so. And another little row of honey. Only because the, um, the colours will really pull in from the outside and um, yeah the the yellow tends to get lost now the blue that's sitting up here that's for the background oh my gosh nearly dropped it in go over there blue All right so I can just sit there don't torch it because it's got alcohol ink in it and it'll flame so don't torch it now in here I've kept 40 grams actually I'm not gonna I'm gonna take 10 out because it's gonna be way too much my mold's gonna be too full so it's going to take out take out 10 and just do my usual 30. I don't know why I put 40 in there. I always do 30. Oh, I'm trying to get my scale to work. Come on scale. Right, I'm just going to take 10 out. Yeah, I just want a very fine sort of thin delicate looking 
pink and yellow. All right, so that's 30 grams. And I'm going back to the cast and craft just because for the new people trying to do this technique, if you go 30 grams, three ounces, so three, three drops, all right? We're going to try that. Um, don't, don't squeeze too hard because you get a huge drop. I'm just getting a little drop like that. Just give it a little squeeze. Let it come to the end of the nib there or nozzle and then it just drops in. So try not to squeeze too hard. Otherwise you get a huge drop um, and then it ends up with like four drops. So we'll just see what that looks like. See, it colours really well. You don't need a lot. And the white pigment paste is really heavy. So it tends to sink. So if you've been doing this technique... Um, and your white is sinking that's there's two reasons well actually it's probably three reasons for it first reason your resin's too thin and it's just dropping straight through so you need to use a one-to-one -one resin it's usually thicker um, and wait till it warms up you can feel it's warm the other reason is you're putting too much like when you do your swirls it's too much and it's heavy and it sinks the and the third reason is you're putting too much white in here and it's getting too opaque so that is making it too heavy as well and it sinks so those are pretty much your three reasons <laughs> clear as mud so this is how you you want it just like skim milk you can see the stick through there um, and that's what we're going to do all right so how's my time going um, i stopped stirring at 12 o'clock i decanted at 10 past 12 and i need to pipe at 19 past 12. It is now 17 past 12. So I've got two minutes to wait. Two minutes to wait. So, yeah. Um, I will give this a quick little torch now that the alcohol has a chance to evaporate. Just don't do it straight away. Otherwise, you'll set everything on fire. All right, that's looking good. All right, I'm going to come back to you in about a minute. And then I'll pour my white into the piping bag. Okay, close enough. Let's just get this done, hey? Oh, super keen, super keen. The last one, it wasn't exact, it didn't really bloom as well as, as I would have liked. I think I was a bit heavy handed. So here we go. Into my little pouring, a little piping bag. I get these little piping bags from eBay. When you search piping bags, uh, there's three different sizes, small, medium and large. I just get the small one and then I just snip a little bit off the top as well because it's too long and then you've got all this left over in your hand and you don't want it getting in the way so I just snip the top off. Okay, that's looking really delicate. That's the word I was looking for before, delicate, <laughs> delicate. Oh my gosh, that's the word. All right. You stay there, you stay there. Now I can feel that my resin's nice and warm. I don't take this one's temperature, I just go by the time. Although, as it starts getting cooler, I may have to start changing the way I do things. But we'll see, we'll see. Piping in cold weather is different to piping in hot weather. All right, here we go. So. Oh, hang on. Oh, gosh, hang on. Oh. Um, that's the other thing I want to do. I'm just going to do drips. I want little, little dots like little stamens. Pretty little dots. Ah, oh, that one wasn't a very pretty one. Oh, gosh. I probably probably blend a bit. Anyway, there we go. Oh, I should have done this afterwards, but it dropped, so I thought, oh. Let's just do it. Okay, here we go. Around. I'm only squeezing a little bit. I'm not squeezing too much. Well, I am going to have to stop and just wind that back up again. So here you got to tuck that in there so that the resin doesn't fall out the other end. I did that once. Only once. <laughs> it fell out the end. Never do that again. I'm always a little bit off centre. 
try not to let your resin touch the the mold um, otherwise it kind of sticks to it and then it doesn't pull in and make a pretty petal okay and then just another little bit just there okay that's it I've still got some left see I didn't need all of that that was 30 I didn't need all of that 30 grams all right now this is where we get to follow our little mold design give it another little torch because I've introduced some bubbles by doing all of that now I've got to be careful I don't disrupt my center because I want the the center like the, to look like their little stamens and things so I'm not going to be putting any crystals or anything in there so basically we're just following the shape okay so where it points out we're going out and we're starting from the middle one here like so Ah, oh, this is fun this is fun I get to just follow my mold this is the first time I've used this mold so it's very exciting for me oops I didn't go deep enough very exciting for me when I get to use one of my new molds hope you guys like it I've also got the same one in a set of four coasters so where it points down we go down oh and I don't want to be too close to there my little stamens there so I'll just stop there like so and I'm just going in probably I don't know a third of the way in just skimming the top I'm not touching the bottom of the mold Ooh, look that's given me a star in the middle <laughs> look at that yeah see I should have done my little stamen things afterwards because they kind of change shape now never mind I'll know for next time once I've seen look at my star I've got a star in the center oh, oh small things new small minds hey um <laughs> so yeah next time I'm gonna drop my little dots in afterwards I was planning on doing it afterwards but because one automatically already dropped there by mistake um I just went with it all right I'm just cleaning up my my hands get these gloves off Another little torch. And I'll just give it a really quick little zap with my heat gun just to help it along. We don't need to, but I'm just helping it out. I'm just a bit concerned about the temperature of my room last night. There we go, that's it. That's all. And hook it back. I've got some hooks hanging from the bottom of my table here, so I'll hook my, my tools onto it, you see. Alright, see how this goes. So yeah, hopefully just really pretty pale pink yellow. Now I'm not getting, I wanted some yellow up here. I can't remember now. I did I did the no, I did the pink all the way down there, didn't I? Or in the outside. And then I did yellow. Okay, so next time I'm gonna have to go sort of pink, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow. Just to get a little bit more yellow. But look, probably they'll probably be fine. So once this has had a chance to um cure up a little bit. I wonder if I can still put a few more little dots in. Only because some of them have gone a bit wonky shaped. Probably shouldn't. No. Ah! <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Two of them. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, yeah. Alright. Um, it looks as if it's blooming beautifully, beautifully. Look at that. <gasps> and look at the pink. It's making a really pretty pattern, isn't it? So we're going to have this like pinky orange coming through in the tips here. 
and then pale pink around the edge and then we're going to have a yellow center and hopefully the little white dots in the middle so yep all right once this had a chance to cure in a few hours it doesn't have to be totally set i'll come back and we'll do a very very pale blue background okay okay see you soon this is so exciting okay so it is set enough for me to do the top coat now i'm gonna i was gonna just do the blue but i'm gonna do the same as i did last time when i did these these colors and i made them way too dark so i'm going with lagoon and purple from octopus now i want very very little color this time so i'm gonna put a drop there and i'm just gonna like drip a bit of it off and keep that I just want to see because I don't know how strong it is. <laughs> okay, it's not very strong at all. All right, let's go with one drop. Just one. Don't do two. One. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll try that. Yeah, I just want it really, really pale. So I've got, I think, 60 grams in there, two ounces and two ounces in there, 60 grams. And I'm going to do the same with the purple, only because, just because that colour isn't very strong doesn't mean that the purple is going to not be very strong as well. So we'll just, just be careful, drip some off and try that because you just don't know what it's going to be like. Okay, so that's okay. Some brands are really much more concentrated than others. Just going to wipe off what's on that stick. <laughs> I don't really want that much. Um, yeah, some brands are really more concentrated. So, and, that, and it looks darker in here too because it's it's deeper. Whereas when I put it on here, it's going to be quite shallow. I was actually wanting more of a blue, but I'm going to get a teal. This is the problem I had. Oh, I just remembered this is the problem I had last time. And that's why I added more blue because I wanted it blue. And then I ended up getting too dark. So, yeah, I remember now my issues that I had. What if I could just put a tiny, tiny bit of blue in it? <gasps> this is the one I should have used, I think. Sapphire. Should have used. Should have, could have, didn't. Let's just do the same, tap that off, change sticks here, oh gosh, one drop, dip, how's that going to go, it'll be alright, okay I'm just going to have to go with that, I'll just have to remember for next time if I do it, go with the sapphire not the lagoon because the lagoon is more of a an aqua it's a pale it's a pale aqua i mean if you put many many drops in yes it's going to get darker but at the moment it's um it's an aqua look i'm going to do the same thing now aren't i but i want blue i want blue obviously i'm not going to get blue never mind all right i'm just going to go for it same as I did last time, except this time I'm going to do little puddles instead of the bigger puddles that I did last time. Oh, it's very pale, isn't it? Okay, maybe it, maybe this is too pale. All right, here we go. Let's do one more drop. Oh, my gosh. One for you. I've put my purple away. I had to run and get it. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that. I didn't have to tell you that, did you? You didn't know that. All right, here we go. Let's do that. So how many drops was that? I'll have to, two? Three. I'll have to look back on my video. Still not really getting a blue. Actually, I probably should have just gone with one drop of the Let's Resin blue. All right, but I do I do want it really, really pale, so. We'll just go again over the top. Whoops. Put it in the mold, woman. <laughs> now I 
what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, look, this works out pretty well. Look at that. Just perfect. Okay. A little bit of there, and a little bit of there, and a little bit of there, and a little bit of there, and, and that's it. Anybody need some more? Anybody need some more? Wait, get off my new mould, you. Um, a little tiny bit more, just of the purple. I'll just put a tiny drop. How's that looking? It looks like fairy floss, cotton candy, doesn't it? My mould's actually pretty full, so I don't know that I can really put much more in. No, look, that's just going to look weird. Just leave it. Just leave it. See, once you start putting too much colour in, then you get that block of colour where you can see the different colours whereas if you do it like this and they just blend into each other you don't actually see um, you know the edges of the colour which I have sometimes I have trouble with because I make them too dark I do all right that that's looking good that's looking good all right let's clean up okay um what am I doing what am I doing torch torch So I'm not going to blend them or anything. Hopefully they'll kind of stay in their little colours. But yeah, purple and blue would have been good. But <laughs> I've kind of got purple and aqua, but doesn't matter. All right, so that's it, you guys. Now we just have to wait for tomorrow to unmould. So cross your fingers for me that the other side is going to be good. I am worried about the dots that they haven't all just gone bleh in the middle. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, it's set. It even matches my nails. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm always excited about demolding, but I'm super, super excited this time. Can you be super, super, super excited? I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's get her out. Oh. Wow, hope so. Hope, hopefully it's really pretty. It's just going to be nice and nice and delicate. I remembered the word. Okay, here we go. Take it out. Oh, look, it comes out so easily. Look at that. Super shiny. Put you over there for a minute. Gorgeous mould. Okay. Oh, oh, I've got some bubbles around the edges. That's okay. Best way to get rid of the bubbles is just to paint your sides in gold or silver or whatever color you want now you can't really see the difference i can't really see the difference between the purple and the bluey color on there but i'm going to use i'm going to use my little bit of i'm going to do this all right i'm going to put a bit of white paper there so that we can just see um, actually actually no let's let's do black because the petals are white isn't that better yep black will be better we can always have a look at it with the white later. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, please be amazing. All right. Oh, it is amazing. Oh, look at the middle. Oh, I've got lots of bubbles in it. My gosh. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so bubbly all of a sudden. Goodness me. Look at it quite as delicate as I was expecting oh, oh, although look at that now it's even more delicate I don't know why I've got so many bubbles on that I might you can always sand the top you know and then do a top coat if you wanted to let's have a look at the white there we go there it is with the white what do you think of it you guys oh my gosh the center the center is beyond words. Wow. I don't know, I just don't understand why I've got so many bubbles in it. I know the resin was really thick and I was stirring, stirring. Because you know how I said at the beginning of the video, um, the resin's 
going thick and cold now because we're getting into cooler weather. I might have to start putting it in a water bath before I use it because the bubbles just don't come up to the surface and pop the way that they would if your resin was nice and thin. So I might have to do that. But, oh my gosh, you guys, ah, I'm in love with it. I am in love with it. I think it actually looks better with the white. Only because you can see the um, the blue and the purple behind it. So in this instance, I don't think black is the way to go. I think white is the new black. Look at that. Now, um, let's see what it looks like with a little bit of gold. What's this one? Is this my gold? I think that's my gold. The only problem with this is because it's got a curved little tip, it's it's a bit more difficult to use. I'll go back to my deco colour. The reason I want to put some gold on it is because all my two reasons. One is the bubbles and two is because all my yellowy goldy colors in the middle and I just think having some of the matching gold along the edge um, will just really make it pop. So this is the Deco Color Premium. It's, um, it is my favorite pen to use and it's got a flat nib so it's easy for me to catch the the tip of the the mold or not the mold the resin piece here um, and then the little nib kind of just follows it along like so and that's covering up all my bubbles and then if you want to you could do the sides as well but um, you don't have to I think you know for the little bit of bling that this gives I think just the top edge there is enough and I don't like to do it too thick just a I like to do just a little thin line like that. I'm still in focus, still in shot. I'll just do the whole thing, it won't take me long. So it's pretty late. Well, I guess it's not late, but um, it's almost 8 pm, and my husband and I came in to make some more molds. Um, we're having to make molds three times a day to, ke to keep up with you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for ordering from us. Um, yeah, we've both sort of quit our, our jobs and um, we are working together. <laughs> oh, it can be a bit of a challenge working together. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. So we're coming in three times. Well, at the moment, we're coming in three times a day. Um, and making molds because they take eight hours to to cure the silicon. There we go. Look at that. What do you think? Just does it, doesn't it? Oops, we're a bit out of shot. There we go. How's that? I'll put it that way. Oh my gosh, you guys. So relieved. So relieved. Look at that. So pretty. <gasps> oh. What to say? I love the center. I could not have asked for a prettier center. Look at that. Definitely going to do this again, but I'm going to do the drops at the end and uh, maybe come out a little bit more because they do move in anyway. So, what do you think? Let me know what you think. I'm just going to put my little flash on here for a minute and see if we can get a better color because it's dark in the studio. There we go, a little close up. Oh, actually, I can't really touch it now because it's it's wet. The sides are wet. I kind of just wanted to show you the translucency of it. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. It's a bit difficult with all the ring lights. So there it is. Oh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I certainly have. And um, yeah, it's turned out just the way I wanted it, except for the bubbles. But beautiful and delicate cotton candy the pinks and purples and blues so yay i'm very happy <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching 
and uh, definitely going to do these colours again and I will warm up my resin first and see if I can get less bubbles in it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all for the next video. Take care. Love you all. Bye for now.